In this video, we are going to talk about 9 SEO hacks every blogger should use. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. In the realm of search engine optimization, a lot has changed, and there are a lot of SEO techniques out there. Certain fundamental ideas, however, have not changed. Targeting keywords just for the purpose of enhancing organic results, for example, no longer works with search engines, but choosing the proper keywords remains critical. Here's a list of the 9 SEO hacks every blogger should use. Let's start. Number 9. Ensure mobile friendliness and reduce page loading times. That's how your reader feels when waiting for your blog article to load, and it's even worse, when your blog is crawled by Google. People will leave if you keep forcing them to gaze at blank pages, and the big search engines will as well. Loading times and mobile responsiveness have an impact on your blog's SEO and user experience, so keep this in mind when creating your overall blog layout. Web.dev and Google's PageSpeed Insights are two tools that may tell you how fast your site is. Check out this very useful article on how to get the most out of PageSpeed Insights and turn the data you're seeing into real-world changes for your site. Number 8. Craft an enticing meta description. The text that displays in SERPs after your headline is known as a meta description. The words in the meta descriptions that are similar to what you were looking for are highlighted by Google. This allows the reader to make the connection between what they were looking for and what you provide on your site. Another reason Yoast is great, provided you've picked WordPress, one of the top website builders and one of the best WordPress themes to go with it is that it allows you to write your own meta description for your blog post rather than having Google choose one for you. Between 50 and 160 characters, this keeps the reader's attention and ensures that the search results aren't cut off. Number 7. Be strategic with your links. Search engine website spiders are bound to browse through your material and look for keywords. Did you realize though, that they pay extra attention to keywords that are linked? They give more weight to linked keywords than to non-related words and phrases. It's a great chance to link to your major keywords right away. Internal links are links to other pages on your site that are relevant to your audience. This not only assists readers in finding useful material, but it also combines your individual content pieces into a linked web that search engines can scan, map out, and assign authority to. Number 6. Add images to your content. A post devoid of photographs is like a bar without alcohol, a pizza without cheese, or a vacation without your best buddy. There are numerous advantages to using high-quality photographs in your material. Images in your post help to bring your text to life. Choose high-resolution, eye-catching photographs that complement what you're attempting to convey in your text. If you've done everything correctly, your image could be another tool for attracting visitors to your website. Number 5. Optimize your page URL. Search engines crawl your blog post's URL, which is a crucial way for them to figure out what your piece is about. It's a fantastic chance to insert your goal keyword phrase. You simply need a few words to explain what the link is about to the reader. Other blog SEO guidelines for choosing a smart URL include using only lowercase letters to avoid duplication content and keeping the slug under 50 to 60 characters. Your URL should be as brief as possible. Number 4. Use the right heading tags. H tags, heading tags, are formatting options you can use in your post's text. Rather than altering font sizes to highlight headings, use the menu to choose your heading sizes. They're used by Google to figure out what your content's main point is, so they're crucial, especially for getting your on-page SEO right. Here's how to use them appropriately for search engine optimization. Here's where you'll put your main keyword. You can create the best blog post ever written, but if your audience doesn't click on your blog title and read the content, then it doesn't exist. Number 2. Focus on user intent, not search engines. Gone are the days when getting ranked meant repeating your keyword as many times as humanly possible. Google's algorithms have matured, and now it's all about high-quality content and understanding user intent what people are looking for when they type a word or phrase into a search engine bar. It's already been worked out by Google. Look for your term in the people also ask and searches related to categories after typing it into the search box. When you click on a website and then press the back button on your computer, a people also search for box appears beneath the click site. Number 1. Nail your keyword research. 
learning how to do keyword research, and discovering fantastic keyword chances to rank for, is the most essential piece of any SEO strategy. If you overuse them, your article will sound like it was written by R2D2. In the worst case scenario, Google accuses you of keyword stuffing and lowers your site's ranking. New blogs also have lower domain authority, as compared to older, more renowned websites, and thus do not carry the same weight. As a result, ranking for more competitive keywords can be difficult, and your blog promotion efforts will take longer to bear fruit. If you're a beginner blogger, the best keywords to target are those with a low difficulty, a high volume, and a high click-through rate. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.